Is there any wonder that those who pull the strings of power would look upon these masses as needing to be controlled, restricted, manipulated, and perhaps depopulated? However, that would simplify what is at play in our society. Those who have no wise guides to whisper in their ears and yearning mind turn to societal observation to understand not only what we must do to reach success, but what society defines for us collectively as being successful. Many have undoubtedly observed that we must step on others to climb the ladder of success. To be truthful, fair, and concerned with others is weakness and a hindrance to climbing that ladder. It saddens me deeply that our nation has lost its moral compass and thus its way. If we as a society continue to reward the liars cheats and criminals, then how can we not expect a reflection to appear in our people? How can we not expect people to pepper spray and injure innocents when they see their own government calling this very behavior justifiable and acceptable? What else can we take away from this observation mass hysteria. Through the cumulative effect of national and financial self-indulgence, deception, and outright theft, whether we like it or not, we are headed for a major global depression of epic proportions. What do you think these people will do when their very survival is dependent on the acquisition of life's necessities. The economic collapse of the 1930s was staggering in its dimensions. However, in all likelihood, the Great Depression will pale in comparison to what is about to unfold on the global stage. Be prepared for Black Friday on steroids. Is all hope lost? No, of course not. Have we not all heard the old story of Noah? Did God build a ship for Noah? He did not. Noah chose to heed the warnings presented and act proactively rather than ignore the warnings as others did only to find themselves reacting in fear as the deluge unfolded around them. In the story, Noah did what he had to do to weather the storm. Many laughed and many scoffed at his diligence to prepare. He did weather that storm. Do not let the ignorance of others bring you doubt. Do not despair when friends and family do not heed your warnings. Our lives have always been about our choices and the consequences of those choices. We must all do what we feel is right. Do not take my word, of course. Open your own eyes and look around you. See with your own discerning eyes the magnitude of the problems, the social unrest, the ineptitude of those charged with its correction and extrapolate for yourself what is the likely outcome. You'd better hurry. The time is drawing near. Like Noah, those who act proactively will always be more prepared on many levels. It is time to live simple and enjoy the things in life we most neglect, ourselves and those we most care about. As was stated by William Henry Channing, to live content with small means, to seek elegance rather than luxury, and refinement rather than fashion, to be worthy 
not respectable, and wealthy, not rich, to listen to stars and birds, babes and sages, with open heart, to study hard, to think quietly, act frankly, talk gently, await occasions, hurry never, in a word, to let the spiritual, unbidden and unconscious grow up through the commons. This is my symphony.